Tina, I got a fun one for us. You ready for this one? Yeah. So, um, you a Sex Pistols fan? Well, what? Are you a Sex Pistols fan? Oh, yeah, the Johnny. <laughs> I, I saw this this morning. The time so, uh, was just impeccable. It wasn't it? So, actually, and, and by the way, I we did a segment on Johnny Lydon on this show when we were just talking about how he's a Trumper, and I mentioned that. I'm not a very big Sex Pistols fan. Like, like I'm just not. I'm, I'm not, not a big. I'm, a I'm not a big Pistols, Pistols guy. And and people people are like, Ron, it's just because his political views are different. You're saying, and I'm like, no, I just I never like. And just just to prove, look at my mug today. This is a Ramones mug, and yes. some of the Ramones are Republicans. Okay, so just so you know, I like the Ramones music. I'm not afraid to have a Ramones mug. So just so you know. I, uh, you know, I don't, I don't automatically write somebody off if they have different right. political views. Me, no, if they take it, the remotes of the Sex Pistols too. Right. So, you know, now if they take it to a very ugly place, that's a different story. You know, there are certain lines, but you know, I still like the Ramones, even though we probably, if we sat down and talked about politics, we would disagree a lot. Uh, I still right. like the Misfits. If Glenn Danzig and I ever talk politics. I know for a fact we would disagree on a lot because I've seen him on Fox News before and what he's had to say there. So, you know, whatever. I just happen to not be a Sex Pistols fan. But check it out. <laughs> Sex Pistols star John Lydon bitten by flea on his penis after befriending squirrels. <laughs> this is a real thing. Sex Pistols star John Lydon, also known as Johnny Rotten, has revealed he was bitten on his penis by a flea. Uh, so he was trying to feed squirrels at his Venice Beach house in Los Angeles. I didn't know he lived in Venice Beach. And uh, and by the way, he's quick here that he doesn't want to blame the poor squirrels. Do you think there's a chance he made this up just to see if I, anyone would run with it? I, you know, I don't know. When I saw this headline, I thought it was parody. I did. I right. didn't think it was I real. did too. He's just I, like I feel like he just called up a paper just to see if they would go along with it. And he'd be like, oh, he's bitten right on me. No, just to see if they'd go along with it. <laughs> No, I was bitten right on my nose. I was feeding the squirrels. I like to feed the squirrels. And then a flea came up, bit me right on the knob. And I was oh, like, shit. Sid, is that you? Is it bit me right on the knob. I think he might have just made it up just to fuck with people. I mean, that's something you know, he would it do. Would shock me. <laughs> I, I, he, he's capable of making some shit like that up, let's be honest. Right? Oh, of course. And that's something he would do. He would do that just to mess with people. Just to mess with people. But uh, funnier than hell, though. When I saw that this morning, I was like, of course, I'm talking to Ron today. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, yes, perfect. But uh, but yeah, I'm not a, not a big pistol guy. Just not a big pistol guy. Never was a big pistol guy. When you find out he has bad politics, it's like, OK, well, I was never a big pistol guy. So there you go. And uh, I never got pill. And I have friends who have tried really hard. I have friends who have just kept sending me. And I'm like, dude, I just don't. Uh, people love it. That's fine. I just don't connect with this. Like, I just don't. Like, I like a lot of post-punk music, but the kind of, like, route they went, no. like, like the sort of, like, it, like it was kind of like arty, but not really, and kind of post-industrial, but not really. I, I just didn't connect with that brand of it. I, like, no, I listen, I, I listen, I listen to something like Pill, and I just think the whole time, why am I not listening to the Talking Heads right now? You know, and that's you just know, me. That's just like my so personal more. preference. 100%. What I like so much more about the dead Kennedys, and I think you're probably on the same page here, is that they are way more cerebral in what they have to say. I mean, their music all has a point, and it's all very, very woke, for lack of a better word. I mean, it's very politically in tune, right? Well, whenever someone tries to make it out, like, and look, I, I know that not all punk rock, even going back in time, was left wing, and I never claimed it was. But to claim that, like, you know, left wing, like, like being on the left and punk rock didn't, didn't have a marriage from the beginning. All you need to say, Wayne Kramer, MC five, end of story. Oh, hundred percent. Like what more do you need? Is that like MC five, MC freaking five, the clash, the dead the Kennedys, bad one. religion. Bad you know, religion. I mean, so yeah, it's definitely been, I mean, even like in DC minor threat and stuff like that. I mean, they're, they're, they pretty much ran their labels as socialist right. more or less. So it's and like, yeah, horrible Sid and Nancy movie. Was that, do you remember, remember that? Courtney, Courtney Love was in it, right? Huh? Was that the one Courtney Love was Nancy? Uh, oh, there was one with Courtney Love. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the that only the one I've one seen. Thinking of? I don't know. That's the only one I've seen. I, I feel like there's been more than one thing. 
So I don't know. But the only one I've ever seen was when Courtney Love was Nancy. I feel like a dog really wants Hypatia's attention, by the I way. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Um, God, you know, the whole entire movie was just about shooting up heroin. Like, there was no point. Well, I mean, I guess that was kind of how things went down for him. I mean, Sid Vicious, I mean, it's a really sad story because I think Sid was a, overall like a talented dude. Uh, although it's tough to know. I mean, the Sex Pistols, they were put together like they like they were basically a marketing project. Um, right. So, you know, but I think Sid was I mean, a lot of people, they say like Sid was kind of the heart and soul of the band in many ways. Um, I mean, I like John Lydon's voice. Like, I don't dislike the guy's voice. I think his singing voice is cool. I just didn't care for the music much. But um, I think he would have gone on to have done some pretty impressive things. I mean, he was only 20 when he died. Wow. I, I think, I think at least, yeah, yeah I think yeah. He, he was only like 20 years old. And I think Nancy might have been even younger than that. I mean, and when you think about that, I mean, in punk rock years, 20 is like not crazy young. I mean, it's still young, but it's not like, but in punk rock years, you're like, well, he was 20. But now yeah. like as an actual adult, you're, you're just like, he was 20. And that's like crazy to think he was only 20 years old. He was barely, he, I mean, he was a kid. He was a kid. Yeah. I mean, it's. I don't know. I'm going to uh, shut the door because she ran out and she's barking. Hang on. Shut the door. <laughs> shut the door. Someone will get bit by the knob. They're barking because they only got we'll a flea bite. Better. Flea better. bite on the knob. Yeah, that's Live better. TV, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so, John Lydon, I, I hope he recovers. That's nice that he's feeding squirrels. I don't know if they'll... Do they respond to that? I don't I mean, know, but if a flea bites you on your penis, like, I, I mean, it's just a why weird was story. He, well, why was he feeding the squirrels nude? I mean, there's a question. <laughs> he didn't have to be nude. He could have. That could have happened. You know, like, like they could have exactly. like crawled up, crawled up a pants later leg or something. But uh, yeah, it is a strange story, and I have a feeling he might have just made it up. Just to, I mean, I think he definitely does feed squirrels. He's been doing that for a long time. Like he wrote about it in his book. Which I don't know if they take kindly to that. Like, do squirrels? I mean, I guess they, according to him, they do. But I don't know. I mean, I've never tried to feed a squirrel, but I did do this once when I was a, when I was a little kid. I didn't know any better. And here's something I did. A friend of mine. We spent an afternoon, and we were like maybe five or six years old. We spent an afternoon um, cracking open acorns, and then just putting the you know the insides on the ground. And what we thought we were doing was we were helping the squirrels out. We were like, well, they don't, they don't have hands like we do. It's got to be a harder gig for them. Uh, we're going we're gonna to de-shell these for them. We're, we're helping nature. And that's not something you do. And, and, uh, and their parent actually told us. So their parents saw what we did. And they were like, why'd you do that? We we're like, we're helping out the squirrels. And they're like, no, you're not. They're, they're probably not going to eat this now. They're like, that's not how it works. You know, squirrels, they do their own thing. They get the acorns their own way. They're like, how would you like it if the squirrel helped out with your food? Like, how would you like it if like, like, hey, we're making, we're making lunch and a squirrel just jumps in the pot. Like, I'm going to help out. But yeah, you might not be, that might not be too appetizing for you, huh? And we learned a life lesson that day. Right. So, so I don't know if like squirrels will take out peanuts or something. If you, if you set them out, I mean, maybe they would, who knows? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we can ask once you know what we'll be able to ask John Lydon once his penis recovers, and I, I wish his his penis a safe recovery. Like I, I'm surprised, honestly, that he hasn't posted a photo. Don't give him ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he might have. We don't know. I mean, like, I mean, it's totally on brand. Let's be honest. <laughs> Apparently, so you said I was a liar by getting the bite on me knob and it. <laughs> What do you call that? What do you call that big right there? Look at it. Look right at the head. It's swollen. right at the head. Right at the head. <laughs> That's not a normal looking penis. That is not a normal looking penis. It's because there's a flea bite right on the knob. Okay. Ron, we're right. crazy. <laughs> well wishes. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me and 
article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your